Good morning, traders. Major US indices finished little change in a pretty choppy low volume session as Europe and the UK were closed uh, for their Labor Day holidays. Um, and most traders are looking ahead to a really busy week in central banking action as well, I think. Um, Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ all finished slightly down. The Russell 2000 was the only major index that managed to finish up. Now, this came on the back of a JP Morgan deal to buy First Republic Bank, uh, lifting that regional bank sector, which a lot of those stocks are listed on the Russell 2000. Um, First Republic became officially the second biggest bank failure uh, in US history uh, after FDIC said they're gonna shutter the doors um, and JP Morgan agreed to buy off their assets and loans. Um, this deal does guarantee depositors cash, but uh, it looks like equity holders are, are out of luck there. Um, FX markets, London and Europe closed. FX markets were choppy, uh, a pretty light, uh, a low, low light trading volume. Uh, the US dollar was firmer, getting a, a tailwind from uh, the better than expected US manufacturing figures, especially the prices paid component, which, which jumped quite significantly, showing that uh, inflation is still an issue. Um, this saw the, the uh, FOMC rate hike odds for Wednesday jump to over 93%. Uh, on that higher than expected figure. Um, the dollar index pushing its major April resistance to 101.80 level there before pulling back. The yen was the underperformer with, uh, with the US dollar yen pushing to a high of 137.53 late in the session. Um, dollar yen has entered a, a real resistance zone here which has kept further upside in check uh, during 2023. The next level to watch there is a psychological 138 level. Uh, this is followed on obviously from uh, a pretty dovish Bank of Japan on Friday and some rising yields in the US this week. Uh, Aussie dollar was the outperformer with Aussie US um, rallying in the session, one of the few currencies that did rally against the US dollar. Seems to be positioning ahead of uh, today's RBA meeting as, as opposed to anything fundamental. Um, the market's pricing at about a 91% chance of a hold. So that small chance of a hike um, and, and, or, and or a hawkish statement, I think seen some, some positioning long in the Aussie dollar before that meeting. Um, commodities, gold. Gold had a wild ride in this uh, Monday session. Uh, XAU USD rallying strongly on the on the JP Morgan First Republic news. Uh, it broke back above the 2000 US dollar an ounce level, which has been a real battle recently between the bulls and the bears. Uh, it did get forcefully rejected once more, finished the session at the end relatively flat. Crude oil uh, dipped again, gapping down on Monday's open after some uh, weaker than expected Chinese figures over the weekend. Uh, also a tailwind, I guess, I'm sorry, a headwind would be the Fed hike expectations on Wednesday rising after, um, after those manufacturing figures out of the US. In today's economic news, uh, the central bank action gets started first up with the RBA at 2.30 uh, Sydney time. Uh, they are expected to keep their cash rate at 3.6%, but where most traders will be looking at that statement to see if there's any clues to whether rates have peaked or there's more coming down the track.